So this week we're going to look around Whitefish, Montana. Right now Whitefish has a population of just about 10,000 people and that varies greatly between seasons. In the summer is our busiest and it gets very crowded here and in the winter we get a lot of the ski people and it, it gets busy as well, especially during the holidays. But as you know, whitefish has really taken off in the last few years, and it's just because whitefish has so much going on. Like I said, it has the ski resort, we have the lake, we have the river, there's all kinds of recreation around here. Uh, there's a couple state parks on the lake, and so everybody wants to be up in whitefish. We get a lot of people from Calgary coming down here, and with that, there's been a lot of construction, new subdivisions. So we'll take a tour and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's start our tour by heading up Central Avenue. We are heading north towards the ski resort, as you can see down there at the end. And downtown is just a great spot. It's one of the most popular downtowns in all of Montana. It's full of cool bars and restaurants and little shops and just a great place to hang out. It's also where they have the Christmas stroll every year during Christmas. I've done videos on that. They have the winter carnival parade comes right down here. All the homecoming parades. It's just there's always something going on on Central Avenue and it's just a fun place to hang out, walk around, go to all the different bars and restaurants and it's one of the things that has made this town so popular and the reason why so many people want to live here just because there's such a great nightlife downtown and it's just a fun place to be. And then here at the end of Central Avenue, you'll see the, the historic train station and it's kind of cool because if you come in on Amtrak from Chicago or anywhere back east, you'll come right through Whitefish and this is the train station here and it continues on to Spokane and Seattle. So if you're looking for a fun ride, I've taken it back to Minneapolis before, and it's a spectacular trip. You go right along Glacier Park, right along the river, through a bunch of tunnels and spectacular views. So you can even take it just down as far as Essex or East Glacier and turn around and come back in the same day. So if you've never ridden the train before, that's one of the most scenic routes you could take. So some other recreational things you can do around Whitefish. This is the city beach, and this is less than a mile from what I just showed you on Central Avenue. Again, another very popular spot. It's right here at the end of the lake, so you look all the way down. It's about six miles down to the other end of the lake. You can see the ski resort up there, and in the summertime, they have a little snack shack and ice cream stand out there, and it's just gets pretty popular as you can imagine on warm days during the summer because look at the views and what a great place to hang out. And if you head about 300 yards to the left of City Beach you'll see where the Whitefish River comes out of the lake and the river runs right through town goes under the railroad right there as you can see and again a lot of people what they'll do is they'll put in their paddle boards right there at City Beach and then go around the corner and paddle down the river through town and then come back to the beach and uh, we've done that a number of times you can also go all the way it's about a three hour trip if you go all the way out to highway 40 and leave a car out there and take the river the whole way it's again another great recreational thing to do around whitefish and then we have all these trails around town this is on the way up to the ski resort and this is the big mountain trailhead and all these trails are eventually going to tie together at some point and they're going to wrap all the way around the lake they're getting pretty close there's already i'm not sure how many miles but many many miles of trails around the lake and around whitefish and up around the ski resort up here they've also just added this other new one and this one this trail is called the holbrook overlook and it's a great spot they've got picnic areas and as you can see, beautiful views of the lake here. And the great thing about these trails is that they allow dogs. So a lot of people will take their dogs up here. They'll come jogging up here. And like I said, eventually they're going to all tie together to go all the way around the lake. So you technically could leave downtown Whitefish and walk all the way around the lake and then come back into town on the 
on the south end of the lake, but the trails are well maintained and you know wide enough and and just a again another great part of whitefish and a great part of living in whitefish. And like I said, miles and miles of trails right outside of town. So if you're just looking to get away for a quick walk or even a full day, there's plenty of trails to do that. And you can bring your dog, unlike Glacier Park. So that's another good thing about these trails around Whitefish. So while we're up here on the mountain, we'll look at the biggest recreational thing that Whitefish is known for. And this is, it's now known as the Whitefish Mountain Resort, but... If you've lived here for a while, everybody calls it the Big Mountain Resort because that's what it originally was. But it's a really nice resort. It gets ranked in the top 10 of Western ski resorts every year. Uh, the top of the mountain is 6,800 feet in elevation. And there is 2,353 feet of vertical uh, ski runs. There's 3,000 acres of skiable area. And they have 12 chairlifts. And the mountain on normal years, this year is not one of them, usually gets between three and 400 inches of snow. So snow is usually not a problem up here. And this resort has turned into basically a year-round resort. Now, during the summer, they have zip lines going up here. They have an alpine slide. They have this hike through the trees. And then right here, we're coming up on the base lodge. This is the main lodge. And so there's restaurants in there that are open during the summer. They have a little kids area. So it's definitely a year round resort now. And as far as real estate up here, one of the good things that everybody's looking for in Whitefish is the ability to rent your place as a short term rental. Well, here at the mountain area, everything up here, whether it's a condo like you see here or an actual single family home, everything on the mountain can be used as a short-term vacation rental. And that's something that everybody's looking for. So anything up here on the mountain can be a short-term rental. And that's one of the draws for a lot of people that end up buying up here. And now that it's a summer resort as well, you'll make some money from people renting it out in the summer. So something to look into if you're thinking about buying here in Whitefish. So speaking of dogs, let's head back down to the valley floor here. And Whitefish has the one of the nicest dog parks I've ever seen. They have ponds out there. They have it separated. So they have an area for the bigger dogs and an area for the smaller dogs. And they're fenced off so they're not mixing. And I have not heard anybody that doesn't like this dog park. There's also a skateboard park right adjacent to this so this is a good little recreation area that's just to the east of the downtown part of whitefish and if you're wondering about the healthcare situation here in whitefish we do have a hospital here it is part of logan health which is the big company and it has the big regional hospital down in kalispell so these two are connected and so it's a good size hospital they do pretty much everything and if they can't they take you right down to Kalispell uh, they have the emergency room here they have a helipad that you know they bring people in by air if necessary and then right behind the hospital they have a whole group of smaller offices that belong to you know individual doctors and different types of doctors so healthcare and whitefish is not an issue you can find just about anything you want and the handy part is it's all kind of located in this one area, which is right on the south end of town. And if you're wondering about the schools in Whitefish, uh, there are plenty of those as well. This is the elementary school. It's called Muldown Elementary, and they just finished this about a year ago. They totally tore down the old one and built a brand new, bigger, nicer elementary school just because of the growth we've had in Whitefish. They <laughs> they definitely needed it. Our daughter went through Muldown, went through the old one that they had, and uh, it was kind of bursting at the seams at that point. And then right across from there, they have the little Montessori school here, Children's House Montessori. And then across the street from that, they have the Whitefish Christian Academy, which has been here for quite a while as well. So after the kids finish Muldown Elementary, they'll come here to the middle school, which is actually located right downtown. You can see the old brick building. It's been there forever, but they have remodeled the inside of it. And it's a very nice school. And they have a really nice theater in there, too, that's 
used year round. And then back over to where Muldown and those other two schools were, this is the Whitefish High School. And they just redid this maybe six years ago. Uh, they added on and totally remodeled everything they had at the old school. And it's, again, very nice now inside. And I have not heard any complaints from people about their kids going there. And our child had a great time there as well. So now let's start taking a look at some of the real estate and some of the neighborhoods here in town. The first one we're going to look at, this is the Creekwood neighborhood. And this is fairly new. I guess it's probably 15 years old now, but a very nice subdivision, all custom homes in here. And then we're going to go on to what is known as the avenues in our business. And it's the area right to the east of downtown Whitefish. And it's obviously an older, one of the original neighborhoods. And then we'll end with one of the newest neighborhoods that's right off of Armory Road. So as we do this, as we look around, I will go over the current real estate stats here in Whitefish and tell you, give you the numbers. So currently there are 162 homes on the market in and around Whitefish, and they range in price from $345,000 for a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,200-square-foot condo, all the way up to $31.5 million for a three-bedroom, four-bath, 7,000-square-foot home that's on 35 acres down at the far end of the lake. And this, this place was on the market the last time I did one of these videos. It's been on the market for a few years. Uh, it has 525 feet of lakefront. Uh, as far as what is sold in the past year in Whitefish, there were 290 homes that sold. Uh, they ranged in price from a home that was listed at 249000 which was, a, again, a one-bedroom, one-bath, 678-square-foot condo, and all the way up to $23.5 million list price for a two-bedroom, three-bath home that was 4,800 square feet, but it was on 1,100 acres, so a huge piece of property on that one. As far as land that has sold and is for sale around Whitefish right now, right now there's 127 land plots available. And they range in price from 179000 for a 0.14 acre city lot over by the golf course, all the way up to $15 million for 17 acres. And it's a, a plot here in town that is all set up for development. As far as land that's sold in the past year, they ranged in price from a place that was listed for 90,000 that sold and it was 1.4 acres all the way up to a list price of 4.25 million for 20 acres. And that was at a, a new subdivision that's just to the west of town called the Homestead. So if you've been watching my videos for the past few years, you will know that we've had huge change up here in the Flathead Valley. Whitefish has kind of taken the brunt of it. The biggest increases in prices have happened in Whitefish. And it's because of everything I just showed you, that all the recreation, it's kind of the place to be. We have the lake, the ski resort. It's totally a year-round town where some of the other towns here in the valley are not. It's a great place to live and... There, there's a reason everybody wants to move to Whitefish. So if you want more information on any land or homes here in Whitefish, let me know and I'll send it right out to you. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.